for the murder of Roger and anything you anything you say may be used against you. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. If you need a latte, one will be provided for you. You may have skim milk or si soy milk and one free flavor. There are no visible signs of a struggle, no bullet holes or knife marks. Did you check for drugs? I didn't find any, none at all. So you still don't know how he died? I didn't say that. I didn't find any drugs at all. Not even caffeine. <laughs> there was no coffee in the system. No coffee at all? None. And he had just finished a meal. How long could he live without coffee in the system? He was a native Seattleite. Not long. I found a credit card receipt for Sam's Grill Tuesday night. What's the time on the receipt? 7.10, the approximate time of death. Well, what are your thoughts on including culturally sensitive materials? You know, things that might interest the class. You know, I tried that with black students. <laughs> Suffered through those sensitivity classes, if you know what I mean. I thought it might do some good, but it didn't. Students asked questions and challenged my authority. They knew the answers. What happened? I'd answer, and the students just laughed. It was humiliating. It's difficult being a teacher. Everyone wants so much. There are many different cultures, Africans, Asians, Latinos. Who knows what's right or wrong? Not like the good old days. We're asked to deal with growing numbers of culturally disadvantaged kids. More students are culturally different. You've got to do your best to encourage them, but you also have to follow state law. Huh. Ideally speaking. I believe so. I'm actually with the school district's legal office. We received a complaint from Miguel's parents. The law requires me to investigate. What I told you is confidential. What you told me supports his parents' complaint. <laughs> what now? Will they sue? Perhaps. They've hired an attorney. As of now, you are to report to the principal. You'll be suspended until I can complete my investigation. Well, that's unfair. You may have broken the law. Thankless bitch. I, 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 I tried to help you. I'll, I'll sue. That's your right. My union. Your union or a personal attorney may represent you. We will see if due process. It's my word. Except your words have been overheard. Uh, Ms. Fair, this is Mr. Sharp. Please report immediately to my office.
car racing and fishing and, and it's remodeling your house. Football, baseball, the man's nut for any game with a ball in it. <laughs> he watches golf. He never played, but he watches it. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind if he watched a good show like that Miss Dr. Phil Ultra, a Judge Judy. Yeah. Well, we watch his racing and football, but we watch other stuff too. I enjoy the soaps, but he's not interested in other people's stupid ass problems. He says, that's just a silly waste of time. If you ask me grown men driving unsightly cars around in a circle for hours on end, it's pretty damn silly. <laughs> well, I ain't watching them anymore. So this is all about TV programs? It's if it's about shows he forces me to watch. Buy another TV, Mama. And what? Put it beside the other? Oh, so it's bass fishing here, Australian football there, or drive me crazy twice as fast. Put it in another room. And what room would you suggest? My old room. You could put it in yeah, there. I sleep there. Since when? Since he retired and became a TV addict. More interested in that is his He's old Mountain Dew than he is in me. You notice he ain't called, probably doesn't even know I'm gone. You've got to go work this thing out before it gets out of hand, Mama. Well, it's long past out of hand. And if you think I'm the one to go crawling back, well, I'd rather put on a tin bill and just pick shit with the chicken. <laughs> we'll call him again. <laughs> yeah. you, you, you've got to promise me. I am not promising anything, and I'm through discussing it. Larry offers his hand for Charlie O'Shea. I'm Larry. Charlie. I've never seen you in here before. On the wagon. Gotta make a choice. Sober up or lose my job and get divorced. I'm not. Married. Married's better than drunk. Right. No hangover? <laughs> you come in here a lot? Some days he doesn't leave. <laughs> like I'm the only guy that comes in here that sleeps in my car sometimes. Two. Three times a week. He's a regular. Only weekends. Rest of the time I'm at work. You got a job? That's why I'm here. Crap builds up too much. Take a day or two off before my head explodes. You must get fired a lot. Nope. Never been fired. Uh, I feel like my friggin' head's about to explode today. You know, part of your problem is the beverage that you drink. Coffee? How do you figure? Coffee's a, a get-you-going beverage. That's why you drink it in the morning, get your day started. The beer, on the other hand, will calm you down beverage. That's why you stop after work for a beer. Slow down, take the edge off. I quit drinking, and I'm still working. Purchasing. Hi, this is Charlie Buck. He's not back yet. He's not back? Do you think he'll be in today at all, for Christ's sake? I don't like your tone, Mr. Buck. Look, I'm sorry. I know it's not your fault. I'm just having a bad day. Charlie hangs up and dials his office. Bernice, it's Charlie. I hope you got good news, Charlie. 